أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وذكر فإن الذكرى تنفع المؤمنين وذكر بالقرآن من يخاف وعيد وأما بنعمة ربك فحدث بِكَ عَبْدَهُ زَكَرِيَّا إِذْ نَادَى رَبَّهُ نِدَاءً خَفِيًّا قَالَ رَبِّ إِنِّي وَهَنَ الْعَظْمُ مِنِّي وَاشْتَعَلَ الرَّأْسُ شَيْبًا وَلَمْ أَكُنْ بِدُعَائِكَ رَبِّ شَقِيًّا وَإِنِّي خِفْتُ الْمَوَالِيَ مِنْ وَرَائِي وَكَانَتِ امْرَأَتِي عَاقِرًا فَهَبْ لِي مِنْ لَدُنْكَ وَلِيًّا يَرِثُنِي وَيَرِثُ مِنْ آلِ يَعْقُوبٍ وَجَعَلْهُ رَبِّ رَضِيًّا يا زكريا إنا نبشرك بغلام اسمه يحيى إنا نبشرك بغلام اسمه يحيى لم نجعل له لم نجعل له من قبل سميا صدق الله العظيم These are ayat from سورة مريم from ayah number one till the ayah number seven. Let's begin with the first ayah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts this surah with separate letters like Elif Lam Mim, like Elif Lam Ra, and this one longer than them, Kaf. Ha, Ya, Ain, Saad. There's five letters in this ayah. Kaf, Ha, Ya, Ain, Saad. As we talked about it in the previous lectures, in the beginning of some surahs, these named huruf al huruf al muqatta, separate letters and. Actually, these are letters and we do not know their meanings till now. And they are only in the beginning of some surahs in Quran. Not every surah. In some surah you may find them. And they are sometimes counted as ayah in some surah. And in some surah they are not ayah. They are part of an ayah. Here it is an ayah and ayah number one it is kaf ha ya ayn saad. This is numbered an ayah. And it is not made by the people to number them. They are dictated by revelation of Allah Azza wa Jal and uh, whether it is an ayah by itself or it is a part of uh, an ayah. Whether should we number them, number it by itself as an ayah or not? Here it is by itself as an ayah. Kaf, ha, ya, ayn, sad. Some scholar of Islam try, tried 
to find out the meaning of these letters. Actually, all of them knew that we should learn the meaning of this, uh, this ayat because it is ayah and there, sh there should be a meaning for them. But maybe we do not know today, but the people after us, maybe one day they will, try, they will be able to understand them by the will of Allah Azza wa Jal. Because in Quran Allah says, لِكُلِّ نَبَأٍ مُسْتَقَرْ وَسَوْفَ تَعْلَمُونَ There is a time for every ayah, for every information. وَسَوْفَ تَعْلَمُونَ And soon you will learn them. So Quran is the book of the Creator and it is every time fresh for the people. The people, whenever they read it, they like it and they cannot say uh, it's an old book. No, it's every time new because Allah Azza wa Jal refresh it every time. And uh, we believe that one day people will understand the meaning of these separate letters. Let's move on to the ayah number two. ذِكْرُ رَحْمَةِ رَبِّكَ عَبْدَهُ Zakaria. In the beginning of Surah Luqman, we said that if we try to understand the relationship between the first ayah and the second ayah, we said that these ayat may have relation about uh, the book itself, about the ayat itself, because in the first, in second surahs. Uh, namely Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah says Alif Lam Mim, ذلك الكتاب Alif Lam Mim, that is the book so in the beginning of Surah Luqman, Allah said for example in the beginning of Surah Al-Sajda, Allah says Alif Lam Mim, تنزيل الكتاب لا ريب فيه من رب العالمين the revelation or descending of the book there is no any doubt that it is from the Lord of all that exists. So, after these separate letters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the revelation, talks about the book, talks about the verses of the book. Tanzilul Kitab. This was the beginning of Surah As Sajda, and now the beginning of Surah Luqman, Alif Lam Mim. Tilka ayatul kitab. That is the verses of the book. Al Hakim. The sound book. That the wisdom. The, the book which is full of wisdom. Tilka ayatul kitab al Hakim. So there is a relation, or we feel it, that there should be a relation between the separate letters and the verses of the book and uh, the book itself here Allah says Kath ha ya ain sad. then he says dhikru rahmati rabbika the reminder of the mercy of your Lord abdahu zakaria to his servant zakaria so it talks about the reminder of the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. It talks about the revelation. Because dhikr, it is as the same of book. وَهَذَا ذِكْرٌ مُبَارَكٌ أَنزَلْنَا This is a dhikr which we send down, Allah says. And He says in another place, وَهَذَا كِتَابٌ أَنزَلْنَاهُ مُبَارَكٌ With the same phrase, He says, this is a book which we send it down. So, إِنَّ هَذِهِ تَذْكِرَةٌ Allah says, this book is a dhikr. In it is a dhikra, it's a reminder for all the people. So it is another name of the book, dhikr, dhikra, reminder. So the, the same relation is, uh, exists in the, between the ayah number one and the ayah number two in the beginning of Surah Maryam. Kath ha ya ain sad, dhikru rahmati rabbika. It, maybe it is 
the reminder of the rahmah, uh, of the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. What it is? It is kaf ha ya ayn sad. Dhikru rahmati rabbika dahu zakariya. The mentioning of the mercy of your Lord to his servant Zakariya. Allah Azza wa Jal will now make us remember his mercy upon his Lord Zakariya. And this is actually a very, very big honor for the Prophet Zakariya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now mentioning him in his book. Whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mention a prophet or a messenger, we feel that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them that honor to mention them in the book. He says, وَذْكُرْ فِي الْكِتَابِ إِبْرَاهِيمِ and Mention in the book Ibrahim, innahu kana, wazkur fil kitabi Ibrahim, innahu kana siddiqan nabiyya. He was a messenger, he was a prophet, he was a trustworthy, truthful prophet. And many prophets Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned them in his book. And now he's mentioning about Zakariya. Tikru rahmati rabbika abdahu zakariya. He says abdahu, his servant. And this is another honor to, to Zakariya because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said he is my servant, abdahu. It was possible to Allah to say dhikru rahmati rabbika abd zakariya. This is the mentioning of mercy of the Lord to the servant Zakaria, but he didn't. He didn't say the servant. He said, "My servant" or his servant about himself. And there is another mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal to us, or for, first of all, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, because Allah says, "Dikru rahmati rabbika," the reminder, a reminder of the mercy of your Lord. When we read the ayah, we feel that Allah Azza wa Jal says, I am your Lord. It's as the same, you are my servant. So Zakaria is the servant of Allah Azza wa Jal, yes, and I am his servant. But we should thank the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam before us because he is, he was the first one who received this ayah. When he received this ayah, Allah Azza wa Jal said to him directly, This is the reminder of the mercy of your Lord to his servant Zakaria. So he felt that Allah Azza wa Jal saying to him, I am your Lord and you are my servant. But after him, everyone who reads the ayah, everyone who follows his way, will feel the same mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. Dhikru rahmati rabbik. This a reminder of mercy of your Lord. You are my Lord. When we read the ayah, we feel it. We say, you are my Lord. And I am your servant, like Zakaria. You granted him of your mercy. And I need your mercy like him. I am your servant like him. Oh my God, please help me. Please grant me of your mercy. Please have mercy upon me. The Quran, why Allah Azza wa Jal, the exalted one, the irresistible, why he talks about his prophets and about their deeds and how he de dealt with them. Of course, these are examples for us. We cannot say, I cannot expect the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal like Zakaria. He was a prophet. We cannot exclude them from the humanity, from, from being like us. They are like us. And in Quran, they said many times, we are like you, we need the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal, like you. 
many prophets Allah made them saying in Quran we are or I am a human being like you I'm not anything except being a human being like you Allah revealing to me some revelation this is the difference and this difference make the increase not their situation from being human being to be an angel they are human being like us they are receiving the order of Allah and they are responsible to Allah like us Prophet Salih he said وَمَا أُرِيدُ أَنْ أُخَالِفَكُمْ إِلَا مَا أَنْهَاكُمْ عَنْ I'm not ordering you I'm not giving you the order of Allah than doing the same thing which I I prohibit you which I forbid you no I will abstain from the same thing which I will which I forbid you because I have the same responsibility toward the Creator like you they are human being like us and they have sins like us maybe they are sin much lesser than us but they are not free from sin Allah Azza wa Jal in Quran said to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam لِيَغْفِرَ لَكَ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِكَ وَمَا تَأَخَّرْ Allah will forgive you or in order to forgive you whatever sin you had in the past and whatever you will have in the future or in another ayah he said Allah may Allah forgive you why did you permit them so they have sin they have sins they are sinful like us as a human being but maybe they are much their sins much much lesser than us they are more abstentious than us it's a reality but it doesn't mean that they are not human being they are like angels they are free from sin no even every prophet in Quran we see them prophet Ibrahim he says Oh my God, please forgive me my fault in the day of resurrection. And we see Prophet Mo, uh, Messenger Moses, alayhi salatu wasalam, peace be upon him. Allah says, وَقَتَلْتَ نَفْسًا فَنَجِّيْنَاكَ مِنَ الْغَمِّ وَفَتَنَّاكَ فُتُونَ And you have killed a man. And then we rescued you from the grief. Allah Azza wa Jal in many ayat he shows us that the prophets for example Yunus والسلام, Noah he abandoned his place which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered him to be a prophet in that town he left that town without the permission of Allah Azza wa Jal so they, they may have sins they are not created free of sin they have sin and that makes sense because they have the same creation with us but they are more abstentious than us they are they were more abstainer than the sins than the evils than us so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like them and so Allah azza wa jal give them that situation give them that fadila and made them an example for us that makes sense but if they weren't have that ability to make a mistake then what's the meaning of, of being free of sin they do not have that ability to do it if you think that they do not have that ability to sin or to make any single mistake then if Allah Azzawajal created us in that form we would not make sin like them so what's the difference what makes them better than us that do not make sense but 
that does not make sense but it makes sense when we think that they have the same desires like us they have the same will like us but they have they had fear they fear of Allah Azza wa Jal, and they did not make sin like us they have some sins but much much lesser than us and so they are pious people and so they are righteous men and so Allah Azza wa Jal made them example for us some Allah Azza wa Jal, some in we see them in Quran invoke Allah Azza wa Jal to forgive him and Allah Azza wa Jal forgive him this is an example for us beginning with Adam alayhi salam then many many of them like Dawood alayhi salam فَاسْتَغْفَرَ رَبَّهُ وَخَرَّ رَاكِعًا وَأَنَابْ David he asked Allah Azza wa Jal to forgive him he asked for his forgiveness and he prostrated himself before Allah Azza wa Jal many days many nights to forgive him so these are examples for us and we should hope the same mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal and we should take the same lesson from their examples to hope from Allah Azza wa Jal and this example of Zakaria it's the most beautiful example of to have a hope from Allah Azza wa Jal to be able to feel that there is my creator and he can give me whatever I need I should not despair of his mercy I should not say I should not do the, this dua this pray it's impossible there is no impossible for the creator and this is the example of the supplication of the Prophet Zakaria for a son from the Creator. Allah says, Dikru Rahmati Rabbik. Allah Azza wa Jal gave him a son and it was a mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal and it was out of count. It was out of normal. Allah Azza wa Jal gave him a son when he was very, very old and his wife was barren. I think the Prophet Zakaria many years asked Allah Azza wa Jal for a son. But then after becoming old and after seeing that his wife is a barren, maybe he abandoned that dua he left that dua maybe he said Allah Azza wa Jal the Creator didn't grant me a son and uh, it's clear that he will not grant me now I am very old and it's not normal for me to have a son after this uh, time but one day when he entered Maryam he was responsible of her in the mosque or in that place Allah Azza wa Jal kullama dakhala alayha Zakariya al-Mihraba whenever Zakariya entered that place entered Maryam her place he saw he found there a fruit to eat but that fruit was not normal in that time and it was not impossible for Maryam to have a provision or something from outside of the mosque because he was the only person who can uh, enter his pl her place he asked her Maryam he said oh Maryam from where you have these 
these fruits, how you can get them. Anna lakiyada. Maryam answered. Qalat. Qalat hiya min ayn. Qalat huwa min ayndillah. This is from the presence of Allah Azza wa Jal. This is from the Creator. And she said then, in Allah yarzuqu man yasha, Allah provides for one for whom he wills بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ without count Allah gives him without count and this is a normal it's not normal Allah Azza wa Jal gave her from uh, as a miracle when Zakaria heard that from Maryam he understand that Allah Azza wa Jal can give him can grant him a son he understand that Allah Azza wa Jal can grant, it, grant him can give him a son despite of her barren wife and despite of his uh, old age Allah says Hunalika at that place Hunalika Da Zakaria Rabbahu Zakaria invoked Allah Zakaria invoked his Lord Zakaria asked his Lord Hunalika at that moment but he asked him without making Maryam to hear him he asked he called him in secret Nida'an khafiya idhnada rabbahu when he asked his lord Nida'an khafiya with a call in secret he said oh my lord you granted Maryam with some fruits without count through a normal ways it's as a miracle so you can give me a child you can give me a son please grant me a son he said it within himself nida and khafiya allah says hunalika da'a zakaria rabbahu that place that moment zakaria asked his lord qala rabbi habli min ladunka dhurriyatan tayyibah O oh my Creator, grant me a pure offspring from yourself. Habli min ladunka dhuriyatan tayyibah. And he said, Innaka verily you are, Innaka samia dua, you are all here, the supplication. You are all here, the invocation. You hear me. Even I am asking you within myself. Even Maryam, she's beside me, but she cannot hear, but you hear me. Please, oh my God, as you granted her with some provisions as a miracle, with some fruits as a miracle, please grant me a son. <laughs> قال رب هب لي من لدن كذرية طيبة إنك سميع الدعاء You are the one who hears the dua the one who is all here to dua to pray We praise Allah Azza wa Jal in this way You are the one who hears the dua because we believe that there is no one except Him who hears the dua. We believe that we cannot invoke anyone except him. When we say Allah, the one who hears the dua, we praise him. If after that we say that person who hears the dua, then it is the second God. Then you cannot praise Allah Azza wa Jal by saying 
Samia dua who hears the dua, Allah will say to you, You prayed that person like me, you invoked him like me, you believe that he hears like me. How can you praise me in this way? So Allah Azza wa Jal praise himself. Samiyun Mujibu Dawat, the one who hears and answers the invocations. If you say, I ask that person who died or whether, it is, whether he is alive and he responds to me. If you say that, then you are producing a second deity after Allah Azza wa Jal, who hears like Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, who responds like Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. Innaka sami'u dua Zakaria said, you are the one who hears the invocations. And this is my invocation to you. I re-hope from you, I hope from you, I expect from you to give me a son. Yes, I know. He said, Qala, Rabbi, O oh my Lord, inni wahana al-azmu minni. Indeed, my bones have grown feeble. Meaning, I am very, very old. The intent is to inform of weakness and old age and its external and internal traces. He said, I am very old. My bones have grown feeble. وَاشْتَعَلَ الرَّأْسُ شَيْبًا And gray hair has اشْتَعَلَ on my head, has burned on my head, has burned into black hair. وَاشْتَعَلَ الرَّأْسُ شَيْبًا Now there is no any black hair in my, on my head. All of them are gray hair. He wants to say, I am very, very old. And Allah Azza wa Jal takes his statements and puts them in Quran. Why? To show us how we should have hope from Allah Azza wa Jal. In every case, we cannot be hopeless from Allah Azza wa We cannot despair His mercy. Allah says, وَهُوَ الَّذِي يُنَزِّلُ غَيْثَ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا قَنَطُوا He is the one who sends down the help or the rain after they have despaired. We have despair from the rain or help. We say, after this moment, it's impossible for Allah to help us. Most of the people do the, do the same. Allah Azza wa says, I am the one who can send rain after your despair. So we should keep ourselves, we should keep hopefully from Allah Azza wa Jal till the, till the end, till forever. We cannot despair His mercy. <coughs> Because we have already seen His power in this creation, in our creation, in our children's creation. We have seen Him that He creates from nothing. He creates whatever He wills. We, every day, we witness His power, we witness His creation. We cannot despair His mercy in any circumstance, in any case. We cannot say, after this, even Allah cannot make anything. We cannot say that. We cannot despair His mercy. We should be hopefully from Allah Azza wa Jal. We say, we should say, these situations, these circumstances, Control are being controlled by Allah Azza wa Jal and He is with us and He tries us.
actually he tries us this is a trial from Allah we should be hopefully from Allah we cannot despair him look the supplication of Zakaria he asked Allah despite his old age and despite his wife is was a barren he said oh my god grant me a son you can give out of the circumstances you can give in you can give in any case we should believe that allah can give any case he can change the situations he can do whatever he wills the same thing happened and Prophet and Messenger of Allah Azzawajal, Ibrahim he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a son many many years over his wife Sarah but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't grant him a son or a child from Sarah his wife then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him a son from Hajar which name which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala named him Ishma, Ishmael, Ismail alayhi salam. Then after many years, when Sarah and Ibrahim was too old, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent had sent some angels to him. And he said, Inna minkum wajilun. He couldn't understand that they are angels. He thought that they are people like himself. They are strangers. He said, Inna mikum wajilun. He said, We are, we have fear of us. You are strangers. What's your matters? What do you want from us? Why didn't you eat? They said, They, they exposed themselves and they said, Inna nubashiruka bi ghulamin alim. They said, we, have, we are giving you a good news of a son, knowledgeable son, min alim. He said, You are giving me a good news about a son while I am very old. Are you serious? What is the good news? Is it a son, really? He didn't say it's impossible. He didn't say, I, I have despaired of mercy of Allah Azzawajal. But he said, wow, you are giving me that news while I am very old? It's very interesting. It's a miracle. The angel said, We are serious and this good news is true. Do not be of those who despair. At that moment, Ibrahim said, And who despairs? of the mercy of his Lord. I'm not of them. I'm not one of them. He says, And who despairs of the mercy of his Lord? Except those who are astray. I'm not one of them. Ibrahim السلام, said, Okay, this is the good news of my Creator. And it's very, very beautiful news so the same things experienced by prophet ibrahim السلام, allah azawajal granted him that son and he said alhamdulillahi wahaba li ala al kibari ismail wa ishaq he praised allah azawajal because of his uh, giving him that son 
إسحاق عليه الصلاة والسلام أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وأخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته